Buzzchomp is back with more of Only Murders in the Building. We've got episode 8 this week. I'm Dan Salem, and there is a secret killer on the loose. This entire show has been a comedic mystery, so sure, we haven't technically known who the killer is all along. That being said, this is a solving the mystery type of show, so we've been solving it. And it got solved in this episode, but solved incorrectly, which leaves a secret killer out on the loose. They killed again. Our podcast trio grew to five and then to eight as Jan and Oscar joined the team, sort of, and the fan club joined the team, sort of. But basically, Oliver, Mabel, and Charles derived a final episode in which they outed the Demas family as the killers. But specifically, they were targeting them as the killers of Tim Kono. Now, this felt natural. I mean, Theo killed Zoe. They had the evidence to prove that. They delivered it to the police. The Demases were running a grave robbing, jewelry selling business. They had the evidence. They delivered it. Demases got arrested. Teddy and Theo did wrong. They killed somebody, were stealing jewelry and selling it illegally. So they probably should go to jail. That being said, there is an alibi to show that they did not kill Tim Kono. While this, the, the consensus was that Tim was shot, the toxicology showed he was poisoned. And there's camera footage of Teddy and Theo out of the building when Tim died. Now that being said, if he was poisoned, they could have poisoned him earlier. I'm not convinced that Teddy and Theo didn't actually get Tim killed, but they probably used somebody else to do it. There's more than just the two of them involved because Jan's dead. Theo was the original killer of Zoe. Now Tim dies, now Jan dies. The cat dies, the dog almost dies. I really think Sting is involved. I want Sting to be involved. Regardless, there is a secret killer on the loose. If Tim was poisoned, then Theo or Teddy could have easily done that before he got shot to cover up the poisoning. Did Theo shoot Tim, but not kill him, and then the poisoning killed him? The poisoning killed the cat. The poisoning almost killed the dog. What was the cat doing there? Mmm, maybe Jan was right, and that's what got her killed. Was she also poisoned or just stabbed in the stomach? It's hard to say she was lying in a pool of blood. We do know that Mabel is going to end up in a pool of blood from the promo stills. Who's dead next? Is it Oscar? Oh, this is getting messy. Poisonings, shootings, pushing off buildings. There are lots of murders in this building. Hmm, it was about to happen eventually. It was in the title of the show. I, I don't really know where to go with the speculation of who killed Tim Kono because I still believe Theo and Teddy were involved. I was targeting Zoe's sister from the beginning. Well, someone wanted revenge on the death of Zoe. Tim wanted revenge for the death of Zoe and was exposing the Demises, right? It would make sense that that got him killed. Their jewelry ring may be larger. Zoe stole from a lot of people. Theo wasn't, that may have accidentally killed her, but other people probably wanted her eliminated. Where's her family? I keep coming back to this. Where's her family? Did Zoe ruin Oscar's life? Is Oscar's family the one that wanted her out of the picture? They are the ones that manage the building. The maintenance team, right? They have access to everything. All the back stairwells, the maintenance elevators. They would have the poison for the rats that would have been able to kill all of these individuals secretly while setting them up to get killed publicly. Now Jan seems like a sloppy seconds type of let's get out of rid of her immediately type of situation. She received a letter and next thing she's dead. What did Jan do between the time what the letter was on the door and she showed up dead? Did she confront the person that she thought was the murderer and go rogue on our podcast team? Well, if she did, it got her killed. Charles is once again heartbroken. Mabel's out in the cold. Oliver's got nobody. Where is his son in all of this? Maybe his son did it because his son was in the building back in the day and knew all of these kids. His son maybe knew that Theo killed Zoe. Maybe his son was secretly helping Tim out the Demases. And his son couldn't help but get involved and get his own hands dirty. There are a lot of possibilities here. Very difficult to speculate. There's two episodes left in this season and the mystery is wide open. Yet the podcast is over. They're going to have to have some secret episodes. Who's going to fund them? We don't know. Maybe that's how the Cinda thing comes into play. She takes over in the aftermath to reveal the secrets that the podcast itself could never reveal because it got ended because the Demas has got taken down. I'm Dan Salem. Comment below with your thoughts on who killed Tim Cotto. We're still asking this question, which is kind of amazing. And stay tuned for more of other great TV here on Buzzchomp. Subscribe, share, and tune back in because Only Murders is just getting started. Woo!